ham as we know it dmr well dmr is built off of the base of what ham is so the framework in which how we have frequencies how we have repeaters all of that is built on top so when hf was not having good communications you couldn't get good distances you couldn't communicate with people you're having a lot of static a lot of other issues um dmr was was kind of the next solution that came in it was a combination of taking swr some packet other different methods and combining it all into one convenient little package um, so DMR and the other digital networks, because some of them are a little bit more advanced, depending on if you get into DMR plus fusion, some of these other networks, they all kind of have the same thing, but some have a little more features than others. And digital was a way to allow people to utilize two things. One interlinking between, uh, repeaters and hotspots. And then it too was allowing people to communicate around the world through um like talk groups what we call talk groups today now we had something similar or we still do on analog and what they are is they're kind of like group channels on analog repeaters so what happens is is when you were used to go to analog you would just key up you had the pl tone or whatever and you would talk to this group of people that's like a chat room today that's similar but instead of using pl tones we're using talk groups so instead of using one frequency for one conversation with the PL tones, we're using two time slots that we can make two conversations go over the same frequency at the same time, allowing for more expanded communication. So when you have DMR, you're talking the same thing as like those old chat groups. The only difference is, is now that chat group isn't limited to that local repeater or what linked repeaters you might have through controllers now you can talk to anyone around the world uh, you could talk via satellite uhf vhf um, there's those are the main frequencies that utilize dmr right now and i know they are getting into some of these other frequencies uh, but it allows for easy communication around the world that's at a cheap solution for especially for those that don't have uh, the ability or the money for some hf rigs even though the Zygu G90 is an amazing all-in-one um, uh, HF radio. Um, there are more expensive ones out there. You can get into some of these, uh, you know, ICOMs and some of these, and they're, you're talking thousands of dollars for some of these radios, which people can't afford. So the, the whole thing with DMR was it's a cheaper solution that allows people to still communicate around the world and utilize some of those things that you would like on HF, but you know, adding more features like SMS, Parrot, some other things, so you can actually talk and uh, you know with other peoples. Um, it also clarifies a lot of digital because what you're doing is you're taking the sine waves and you're turning them into square waves, and you're actually processing these through different processors to enhance the quality of audio, so you don't have all this static as well. Um, so first off, this is an amazing question. I don't want to get too deep into this, uh, but I'm, I hope that what I gave you so far is, is a brief in, uh, enough in explanation to explain to you how DMR started coming. And ever since then, they've just been building on it. So you got DMR Plus now, you got some other networks out there, and they even make bridges to communicate between them. And that's a whole nother can of worms we're not going to get into right now because that is a huge conversation that can take hours but that is an amazing question thank you